This will be our zoo project and we're going to start with the animal class and this project just so that you know is going to go through various evolutions so to speak and so right now I've got set up a driver program it doesn't have anything in it yet notice that it will pound include animal.h as uh, my header file because it's going to need to call up on the animal class I have animal.cpp with almost nothing in it. That's going to be our implementation file. And so this is going to be animal.cpp. And I recommend as you guys are creating your classes and such for your semester project that you do similar notation here. Make sure that your name is here. And I always try to put a date. Because it's always going to forget when you maybe created it, what it was used for. So some little bit of descriptiveness um, here. In order to save space on the screen, I'm not going to include so much <clears throat> when I'm doing mine. But I'm going to do at least do that much. And you should likewise do on yours. And like here I did animal.h and then um, spring 2016. So when I'm creating classes on this particular project is going to take us through several things but one of our goals is we're just going to review um, creating classes and it's going to kind of step us through um, industry standards and what would be expected and what would be professional as you're setting up a class and there will be lots of little trips and tricks and things along the way that I will try to uh, reiterate and or introduce you to so I would recommend that you watch these videos or at least listen to them uh, from the beginning to the end and always come back to them as for reference as you need when you're creating your own classes. Now, when I create an animal class, I am going to look at my class diagram and I notice I have three instance fields, a weight, a name, and a total food. And so I'm going to use that here. I did mention that they are going to be protected and this is something new. Because I know down the road, according to my class diagram, that I'm going to have mammals and reptiles, and both mammals and reptiles will inherit information from the animal class, I want to be able to access the super class instance fields. In order to access the super class instance fields, I need to make the instance fields protected. So what protected does, it allows the subclasses to access the super class instance fields directly. Then I don't have to use a git name, a git weight, or a git food method. I can access the variables directly and you will see how that looks in our example. So I'm going to go ahead and create the instance fields here. I might go ahead and type some code and then continue recording in just a few minutes. I went ahead and typed in the rest of the class so that I could just kind of talk you through it without having to worry about typing. And so this is what our class looks like. We've got our three instance fields, weight, name, and total food. I have a constructor, and remember this is my header file, so all of these are method prototypes. And so when we look at the public variables here, these provide the method prototypes for the class. So I have a constructor that brings in three arguments. I have something new here. It's a virtual void method. And it's how we're going to feed the animals. We will talk a little bit more about that later. And we have a get info method and then my get total food method. And when you create the class then, what I like to do, first of all, is I copy this and I go to my animal.cpp or the implementation files. 
And now none of these methods I decided to create in line. I am going to go ahead and write them all in the animal.cpp file. I copy them over and then I comment out all of that code until I start working with it a little bit. The instance fields I comment out just so that I know or remember exactly how I named them. And after a little while, I'll just delete them. The public methods, I go ahead and use these prototypes as they are. I have to remember a couple of things when I'm creating the implementation file. So remember the .cpp file is what we call the implementation of the class. And it contains the code for the methods outlined in the header. That's what my animal.cpp will do. Because I am using the animal class, I also need to very first thing pound include animal.h. And that little shortcut that I'm using there, I don't know if you guys notice that, but in that pops up if I hit tab, then that fills in the animal.h. And so I'm going to then, whenever you are writing or creating a class, remember you have to tell the class that you are working with, you have to use the scope resolution operator. So animal, colon, colon, and then for every single method, in my .cpp file, I have to preface it with animal, colon, colon. So I'm going to copy that, and it goes right before the name of the method. So right before feed, right before get info, and right before total food. And even though I copied the virtual, or I, I don't use the keyword virtual here. It's just going to be void for the feed. It still is yelling at me, and this will happen to you. If I hover over the method, it says something about one overloaded error member function animal animal may not be redeclared outside of the class. It thinks that I'm trying to create another header file, and that's because I didn't get rid of this semicolon here. So if I go ahead and get rid of the semicolon and then set it up as if I'm going to go ahead and write my methods, putting in the curly braces, it then knows that I'm not trying to create another header file it now knows that I'm going to be writing my implementation. But that's a error message that happens a lot of times and it can be kind of confusing. And here, static variable may not be declared at that level, or static there, for get total food. And last but not least, I do need to address the static variable issue. Static double total food. If you watch the videos on the budget class, then you start to understand that a static variable is created once for all of the different types of class objects. So I'm going to have one total food variable for every kind of animal that I create in my zoo. And that's because I want it to be like a global variable that I can then keep adding to every time I create an animal or I feed an animal, then I want to total up the, the food for the day. So then I can keep track of the total food for a day or the total food for a week. And so if I go back to animal.cpp and I'm going to go ahead and write the implementation for an animal and then we're going to test just that part. So name is going to be assigned and I might just right here in order to save a little bit of space but also just kind of show that I can have whatever variable names I want there. Name is assigned N and I will have uh, weight is assigned W and I will have total food is assigned amount. 
for my constructor. When I feed an animal, this is going to be a little bit uh, loosey-goosey, but weight is going to be assigned weight plus amount. So however much we feed the animal, that's what's going to, their weight is going to change by. And then I'm going to take the total food, and total food is going to change by the amount also. Now keep in mind, I could have used a shortcut total food and done plus equals amount. Either way will work. Get info is going to be a little bit different than what we've done before. And I notice I changed it. I'm going to use a void instead of returning a string. And I'm just going to output the information for an animal. And in this case, the animal is, and I'm going to go ahead and type this. I went ahead and typed what I wanted to print for the animal and get info then is going to be an output statement that just says what the animal is, the name and the current weight of the animal. I'll do control K, control D to fix some of my spacing. And I should have a comment prior to every one of these methods. Or it's common to do that. Um, if they're self-explanatory, if your code is self-documenting, then I'm not going to worry about that so much, but make sure that you do have at least some comments up here, maybe a brief description about what this method does. And I'm going to delete these because I don't need them anymore. I've got my variable names. I do need to do one more thing, and that is this. Before I create any instance of an animal, I have to create and initialize my static member variable. And in the budget class, we did it before main. In this class, we're going to do it here because this is my implementation file for animal. So before I create any animal, I need to create that static class variable and initialize it to zero. All right, I haven't written the driver yet. That's going to be the next step, but I've got my header file for animal set up and I have my animal implementation. And next will be the driver.